It's that time of year where the leaves colors are changing, the temperatures are dropping, American schools are becoming target practice. Uh, that was horrible! Your wish is horrible! You're horrible! You're an irredeemable monster! Oh, oh, what took you so long, idiot? The birds are singing, and oh yeah, the greatest holiday ever is coming up. Halloween is such a fun holiday that allows us to embrace scariness and most importantly, monsters. I think you all know where I'm going with this if you're a consistent viewer of the channel, which I thank you for. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm so happy to announce the return of Howling Halloween. Anyone who knows me in real life and also knows that I have a YouTube channel knows that I've been hyped for this for a long time. Ever since the last one, I've been planning the sequel because I've been wanting to do this as an annual thing, and here we are in year two. Anyways, last year I made a little intro for Howling Halloween, which I shall play now, and if you haven't already, you should check out last year's Howling Halloween. Even a man who is pure in heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the wolf bane blooms and the autumn moon is bright. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Howling Halloween. This year, I decided to base the intro off a poem about King Lycan by William Edstone Ayuton, which I know I butchered, but I'm sorry. Which, if you don't know the story, is about a Greek king named Lycan and his sons who were just horrible people. And one day, he decided to cook one of his sons. In some depictions, it's said that it's just a random kid, but regardless, child cannibalism was involved. and he decided to serve him to Zeus to really see if Zeus was an all-seeing god. Well, Zeus was able to see through this and was highly offended, in which he decided to kill all of his sons and transform King Lycon into a wolf, which makes this myth one of, if not the oldest, depiction of a werewolf in human history. I love how all people that are horrified by what King Lycon did, it's Zeus, which should really speak volumes because it's not like Zeus is a holy saint by any means. I mean, the getting insulted part, that makes sense, because Zeus is an insecure little pansy. I mean, get over it. <laughs> okay, I should have seen that coming. Well, with the constant threat of being smitten down by an angry lightning god now looming over my head for all of time and eternity, I'll just play the intro for this year's Howling Halloween 2. <laughs> he cried for blood, he raved for blood till a fearful change began, and he turned to rend the peaceful flocks and lost the shape of man. His shoulders bare were clothed with hair, his limbs grew long and lean, Yet still you might trace on his wolfish face what once the wretch had been. The grisly locks were hard and stiff, the eye was cold and keen, and the savage sneer of Lycan's mouth and the famished wolf was seen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Howling Halloween 2. 